Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Lerner. In this particular video, we're talking about L-1 visas. Now, you're asking, what is an L-1 visa? Well, that is a visa that allows you to basically invest in your own business in the United States. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll see uh, different ones on the E-2, the E-1, EB-5, different other kinds of investment visas, and those are different than this particular uh, visa, the L-1. Now, the L-1 is referred to as the intra-company transferee visa, and the intra-company transferee visa is really what it says. You have a company that is somewhere outside the United States, and you open a branch office or purchase a, uh, you know, one that's already in existence inside the U.S. and then you transfer from the uh, company that you're at in your foreign country or your home country over to the United States and you work both of the different uh, types of, of branches. So you're, for example, a manager or executive type uh, at the uh, foreign office and you come here to the U.S. to manage or be an executive as well, and then you get what's called an L-1A. That's a managerial or executive L-1. Now, that, of course, would be preferred to the other one, which is called an L-1B. And an L-1B is referred to as specialized knowledge L. So, let's say that, you know, you've uh, worked at a company overseas and you're an absolute expert at making widgets. Uh, and they open a branch office here, well, they can send you over to the United States uh, to basically get the widgets going and, and so forth. Uh, L-1Bs are considerably harder than they used to be to get, um, but that's true with most of uh, immigration petitions. Now, the thing about the L is people will then ask, well, how much do I have to invest? Because you know with the EB-5 for the green card, it's a million. For the E-2, it's like 100000 Well, when you get to the L-1, the amount of the investment is far less important uh, than you know, many other factors, such as who owns each of the companies. So, in this particular one, what happens is you can invest $10,000, $25,000, and, and you know, half of that, or a decent portion of that, can be put in the corporate bank account. So let's say that you're an accountant and you have your own accounting firm in the foreign country, uh, your home country. Um, you can open up a little consulting branch office in the U.S., you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars uh, $15,000. Most of it will go into the corporate bank account and then you get a little office, you, uh, you know, get a secretary, get the phone lines. Uh, you go as far as, as that goes and then you're able to uh, get the L1 and work both of the uh, particular offices and it's a multi-entry visa so you can go back and forth and back and forth. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what's better, the E2 or the L1? Well, first of all, you have to, that, that question doesn't even come up if you're living in a country that doesn't have uh, the availability or ability to get the E2. Let's say, for example, you're from China. If you're from China uh, and you have lots of money that you want to invest in, you know, be an entrepreneur in the U.S., you're not coming over on an E2 because there is no treaty with China. What you're going to do is you come over on the L1. So it's a great way of still being able to invest in what you want, but not uh, being prohibited from coming over because there's no treaty. There's no limit on the number of L1s per year. There's no countries that can't come. Um, basically, you have to have worked at the company in your home country for at least a year in order to come here uh, to the United States to open up a branch office. Now, the branch office doesn't have to do the same thing. I mean, you could be selling, uh, you know, pottery uh, in Egypt and come here and you know buy a, a Kentucky Fried Chicken. It doesn't make any difference. Now they're they're going to ask why, you know, why do you want to do that? But that's all part of the uh, L1 petition, anyways. So basically, when my firm prepares 
uh, the L1. There, there's three different parts. There's the L1 petition itself. Then there's the incorporation, which there's lots of uh, documents and, and so forth that's needed to show that the ownership is the same as the foreign country and, and so forth. And then there's the business plan. And we have to show, uh, you know, the outlook of the L company over the next few years that it's going to be doing good and it's going to be making you know, money and so forth. And you, you know, basically the business plan that, that my firm prepares has lots of pretty charts and graphs and, you know, numbers and, and all that to make it look good. Uh, and so then what happens is once the L is prepared, uh, it cannot be sent directly to the U.S. consulate or U.S. embassy as would be the case with the E-2. So the L-1 goes to USCIS here in the United States, and if it is approved, then, then they will send the approval to the U.S. consulate. You will then have an appointment to go uh, pick up your you know, L visa, assuming you pass the interview. So you'll have a copy of everything in your hand, study it, of course, and then you'll be able to uh, go forward and, and uh, get the L. Now, here's a, a nice thing about the L. Uh, if you come over on an L, your spouse will be able to get a work permit to work anywhere your spouse wants, no limitations. Your kids who are under 21 uh, and single will be able to go to any school they want. They don't need to worry about whether it's private or public, whether they accept non-immigrant students. You don't have to worry about changing to an F1. Um, it all is available on the L. The United States likes people to come in on the L because it brings in money, it brings in jobs, uh, it brings in products, so it's a, it's a nice visa. Now, uh, an L is not easy to prepare. I mean, obviously, we have to show all kinds of documentation from your foreign company. We have to show all kinds of documentation from the U.S. company. But, you know, again, if you, if you come through, through my firm, uh, what we do is we have a log on that gives you everything you need step by step. We walk you through it and, um, you know, we put it together as, as it progresses. So that's how that works. Now, there's two different kinds of L's that would be approved initially. There's the L1A, uh, uh, sorry, there's the L1 for the new office and then there's one for an existing office. Now, if you come and open up a new office, you're only going to get an L for one year because they basically want to make sure you're not coming to say you're going to open a new office and then, you know, go get a tan on the beach all the time. So uh, that'll be one year. Now, if you buy an existing office, one that has been in operation for more than a year, then you'll get up to three years on the L, okay? And then you can extend it. So for an L1A, which is a managerial type, you can go all the way up to seven years and for the L1B, that'll be five years. Now, here's the nice thing about the L, because people always ask, what well, you know, can you get a green card from it? Well, technically, no. The L is a non-immigrant work visa, although it's a very nice one. What will happen is if you get the L and work sufficient time on it, you can then apply for what's called the EB-1 Multinational Manager Visa. And the Multinational Manager Visa, uh, again, it's similar to an L. It's just more involved but it is for the green card. So if you own a company overseas and you have you know, sufficient funds and time and resources to get a branch office in the U.S., it actually is a very nice stepping stone for the green card. L1, multinational manager, green card. And uh, if your kids are under 21 and single and your wife, they all are derivatives and they can come along with you. So uh, keep all that in mind and uh, if you'd like to get a consultation on the L, uh, go ahead and give me a call or click the, the links to schedule a consultation. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, okay, more in the coming videos.